two-time and it's a three-time European Drift Champion in a showdown at the end of qualifying, I'd say, ah, you got your money's worth. <laughs> And here we go, he gives a nod to both the drivers, thumbs up all round, cars slot into gear, they wait for the green light, and it is go, Vincek to lead out Calais Rovenpera for the first battle in our qualifying showdown, here we go, Vincek fires it in, oh, Rovenpera way on the inside, loses lots of ground already, as Vincek now starts to lay down that 97 qualifying run, as he puts a back bumper to the wall, Rovenpera nowhere in this fight, Vincek sticks into the wall once again, fires through, looks for that final outside zone, and a Across the line and shows Roven Perra who he's really up against. Well, there we go as flames are up for the back of Peter Vincek's car, and Vincek starts to scrub the tyres already as he comes round back towards the start line. You can see here where Roven Perra went wrong. Look at the, the initiation, mistimed it, misjudged it, had it itself on the handbrake for a long time, lost some ground, and then just could not claw it back. And you I'll give Peter Vincek. Think, think of two things you don't have in a rally car. A car in front of you and smoke. Yes. And that is a tough thing when you have no practice over a year, is that you're chasing through the lights, through the smoke, and you've got a car in proximity, where obviously we know we're over Paris car control is second to none. But you've got to adapt to another driver now, and that's where you got to get that, you know, a little bit of, uh, I'd say, ring rust for Roman Perra, where Piancek's done plenty of battles this year, more than anybody probably in training, and that's just a little bit of an advantage. You see Roman Perra dove in, but it didn't quite work out for him. No, just couldn't hold on to it. And as soon as he gave Vincek that, that little bit of advantage, there was no way, and you can't let Vincek get away. The car is so no. fast. No, Vincek will be starting the next event by the time you finish this one, <laughs> if, you don't, if you let him get too far. So, Vincek's now in the chase, Roman Perra's in the lead, we know Roman Perra's got a great lead. We know he's the top four qualifier. So Fiance can now stretch the legs on the Super and see how it is in the chase. Because if his car is that hooked up and fast, he might have the same problem as Rovan Perra diving to the inside here because the car just wants to shoot forward. Let's see, it's a nice little tester for tomorrow here. Yeah, look at the bright lights in the front of Rovan Perra's car. They are so bright, it's unbelievable. Now, Rovan Perra starts to lead them out, dials on the angle, but there's no shake in Vincek. He looks through with the smoke down onto the side as Calais Rovan Perra goes for the wall. Vincek looks for the door, parks himself right up on the inside. They transition, it was dangerous. Dangerous from Vincek, he couldn't see where he was going. They fire through the smoke across the line. I'll tell you what, that was a little, for me, too dangerous for a qualified showdown. But Vincek, he's been in the wars in Riga in the showdown. And again, here, I think there's no question that was the better chase run of the two. And I gotta say, it was the moment there when we saw Roman Pair go around the corner of Vincek and said, isn't this cool to watch? Yes. <laughs> Very good. Two complete champions of their own discipline going head to head in almost identical machinery. Yeah, for me, Vincek done an incredible job in the chase. So I think this is just going to give us a little bit of insight. For you guys watching at home, you're going to see what's going to go down tomorrow as we go under the lights here in Hungary for round five finals. Dave, we're going to get treated to more because our top 32 qualifiers go out this evening for night practice ahead for tomorrow. So they get some night practice twin battles so they know what they're up against. Yeah. But you guys at home won't get to watch that. No, but you're getting a taster right now, the best of the you're best. You're getting one little taster, you're getting three battles. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, for me, with Rovan Perry, he's going to eat this practice up because everyone oh, he yeah. does, in the, he's going to start learning and learning, and that guy is a sponge. He's going to take it all in and watch him tomorrow because he will learn a lot tonight. Especially going up against Vyansic, he gets almost a doesn't matter battle here. For him. He's not in the championship, he doesn't care. But he's getting up against the best in the business there, and he's starting to learn where he's at, and he will learn. That's yeah. the thing about Roman Perra. He's going to take that in, he's going to sit in his trailer, he's going to watch those runs over, he's going to make those, those corrections, because he has that talent. But it is Peter Vyansic getting the win and going to the qualifying showdown final, and that is a well-earned victory with a very risky chase run but he did not want field. So James is gonna to have to bring his A game into that first corner now as they come off the line. Yeah, they certainly are. So they get the thumbs up all around. They wait for the light to go green. Wyszkonski's on rails this weekend here in Hungary. Can James Dean derail that train? The Polish train comes off the line, through the gears down. Dean jumps onto the back bumper, initiates into it, into the door, looks for the side. That GR86 now matches the angle, matches the transition. Dean doesn't want to get too close, too dangerous. Oh, goes for the front wheel as James Dean now starts to apply the pressure to Kuba Pushkonski as they come through the alley. Dean transitions before Pushkonski but loses a little ground as Pushkonski goes right to the edge of the circuit. Oh, it's edge of your seat, but you see tandem battles on this track. It is hard I to watch. I forgot how dangerous the twin battles are. Really. I'll tell you what, Dean tried to do what Vyansek did, but it didn't work. He did it a little too early. Yeah. And had to kind of dial some angle out of the car. Kuba looking on rails. I mean, every run.
looked so consistent. Kuba set this thing on autopilot, and it's very tough to beat. He's just driving itself around here. Watch this. this Dean goes for the aggressive transition here, but this transition's quicker from Dean in the chase. Gets right up then up onto the front. Look at this big dive from James Dean here as he goes up onto the door. But this is where he tries to have that very snappy transition in the chase position. Watch this. Goes very early, earlier than the lead car, if I'm not mistaken. At the same time, and then goes up the inside, and now kind of just has to dial a little bit of angle to catch Kuba there. Only place you could probably draw a couple of points away from Dean. Everywhere else was flawless. So now, Kuba Piskonski, who I will say is not known for overly aggressing uh, in the chase position, has to. He's up against the master here, the championship leader, hunting more points in the championship. Dean goes through the gears. Kuba Piskonski fires in on the door, and he fires in close. Kuba feeling that this could be his weekend, but he goes shallow there, and a very late transition from Kuba. He's going to lose ground, but he fires through, and it's good. From Dean, it's good from Kuba, and they're right up on the door. Contact, I think, between the two as Kuba touches the door. And look at this. Oh, big transition from Kuba Pichkans. He goes late, goes wide, and he's up on the door, and now he's asking questions of James Dean. But Kuba Pichkanski was not there as a camera car in that one. He came to win the battle, and that is a big run from him. Big statement. Number one qualifier, and has put a, qu a real question mark on James Dean here. And Laurie Hine and, James and uh, Dwayne McKeever doing backflips in the paddock. <laughs> Kuba Pichkanski t-shirts on, Polish hats. <laughs> Polish hats. Yeah, say the flags it. Let's are waving. Go. I don't even know. It's a very close one. There was moments for me where Dean was far more... Like, here, Dean was better, I think. Kuba then dives in. From here on, Kuba, th that first section wasn't as good as Dean for me. The second section was better. That's where I'm at. This dive from Kuba, look at this. Straight down, that's very brave. Down the inside. Down the inside. But he follows the lead car. He goes with the lead car instead of cutting the track. Oh, but the Dean, on the, to me, on the first half of the course was a look little bit that. better. This is just a qualifying showdown, folks. Tomorrow, it really matters. There's trophies and things for this. The podiums and champagne and do or die. Championships on the line. Join us. So Dean saying there, it's hard to predict where you are. It's hard, hard to know where you are on the track. I don't doubt it. It's not, yeah, a lot I, of smoke, a lot of trees, a lot of lights. I'm not surprised. Kuba, look at that. The smiles all around. Very happy with his performance. Num uh, sorry, I'd say number one qualifier, but Pichkonski sitting very close to that. Let's see what happens here. Oh! Here we go, Kuba Pishkowski gets the win! And James Dean doesn't get as many championship points as he would like. He can still get a ton tomorrow, and this might not matter at all. Yeah, full carbon fiber GR86 with almost a thousand horsepower. That's a real sentence you wouldn't have heard six years ago. <laughs> but right now, Kuba Pishkowski does sit in that very mean machine, sitting beside Vyantek, also trading off probably over a thousand horsepower in that Toyota Supra. And they have all the grip dialed up to 11 now because they are ready to go. Two Polish drivers ready to put on a show here at the end of the showdown. It is for maximum points today in qualifying. Will Vyantek get back up the order? Will Kuba Pishkowski prove unbeatable today? Well, let's see what happens as both of these guys come off the line into gear we go. And this is going to be close. We know this is only for, let's say, bragging rights, but it's a lot of bragging rights on the line. Vyansek in the lead, Pishkonski in the chase. Looks like we are good to go. Last run to the night. Vyansek in the lead, going through the gears, and Pishkonski starting to chew up at that back bumper as they come into that first corner. Look at this, Pishkonski losing a bit of ground. Look at the speed of Vyansek as he fires to the wall. And Pishkonski takes a late dive, brave dive as he goes up onto the door of Peter Vyansek. And Pishkonski's coming for it now. Doesn't want to back down against Vyansek as the late transition oh. works. But look at Peter, he's so fast as Pishkonski cannot a catch. Peter Vyansek across the line. That was a brave dive that did not work out. No, it didn't work out, Dave. He went for it, but he just didn't have the pace in the car because on the transition, Peter gained almost a car length on Pichkonski. Look at the speed of Vincent's car from here, from outside zone one. Look, applies the throw, gone. And Pichkonski really has to play catch up. You can see him down off that qualifying line onto the front wheel and then through the smoke, through this transition, really makes a big dive. Look at this, almost straight there, flicks the car and says, right, let's let it wash. Let's let it get to the door. And he gets to that front wheel plays a very dangerous game but then he's there he's with him but then again on this transition plays it very dangerous it just doesn't work out for him and Vincek is absolutely gone
Look at that little dab on the foot brake from Vitek, and he gets onto it now, gets onto the rear wheel, onto the door, he goes, he's pushing Pushkonski around the circuit, goes up the inside, contact, as Vintek puts his front wheel to the rear wheel of Pushkonski's GR86, now they go wheel to wheel, oh, Vintek absolutely playing with danger as he doors Pushkonski across what the line. What was that? Oh my goodness. Vintek knew he'd made a small error, and then he came for it all from there. Oh my goodness. Has anyone been that no one's ever seen anyone that close in the last one? Never seen anyone. Even that six close. years ago no one's been that close. My goodness, that was a brave dive on the inside. Gransek was gonna hit the wall with the front of his car on the transition. Let's break this one down as Gransek comes in. This is a beautiful chase run so far, but he can lean on Kuba. Kuba's line is excellent in the lead run. And as they transition back, Gransek starts to get brave here. Look, goes way too far up on the inside, gains ground. Has to back up. I don't know if oh, he did make contact. Yeah, I think he got like away it. with it, but he was on the wrong side of things. So he's got to get back into it. Now he knows he's made the error. He starts to get very aggressive. And this transition, I'm pretty sure, was scary. Watch the front of Giant's car. He's almost on the wall on the inside of the track. And then this, how does he hold the proximity here? Right on the door of Kuba Pschkowski across the line. Oh, that was incredible. And then big flames out of the cars, which is my favorite part, to be honest. Oh, look at, look at this. He backs it off on the no, front there brake. Isn't contact. He, he it looked off, like there yeah. was contact. He backs it off on the front brake, and he gets away with it, but he loses a bit of ground, but boy, does he gain it by the end. Oh, it's good to watch. Good to watch. Giant's X front bumper oh, here. Look at that. God, He's nearly in the wall. That's so dangerous. There's no room for error. No. And this is going to be all day and night tomorrow these about these type of battles look at that left foot breaking tries to get himself in the pocket i mean like one mistake from giant sec <laughs> and that's about it she's <laughs> like fair play that, that looked pretty that, scary yeah so these two will be in action tomorrow remember this is just a qualifying showdown final for maximum points but will it be vine or will it be kuba pushkonski getting maximum points today in the championship Either way, they've had a great day. Smiles all around. And the judging scores drop in. And it's Peter Vjainsek getting the win in the qualifying showdown. Sitting himself number one qualifier, winner of the showdown, <laughs> and ready to take on everybody tomorrow. Yep, he sure is, Dave. He's ready to do battle.